understanding resources. So resources are the second main part of a project while tasks identify the ind individual components and steps of a project. So it's the resources that actually get the job done. So in project, resources can be anything required to perform tasks, people, equipment, facilities, materials, and even costs. So these are categorized in the three main resource types, work, materials, and cost. So when we're on our resource sheet, if we was to put in a resource name, so I'm just gonna say, this is the architect. The type could be work. So the work resources are those that are associated with time. So people are work resources. Are they attract by the amount of time that they spend on a task? So similarly, equipment used in a project is also considered as a work resource as it's tracked by time. So tracking by time allows availability to be ascertained and over allocation of resources to be identified. So it's also costing which can be tracked. So that's the type of resource. So then if I look at the next one, which is material resources. So if I just say, a jib and then that would have to go under a material resource so your material resources are assigned by quantity as opposed to time so for example um, you may need 100 tons of gravel for a driveway 20 liters of paint for the walls or 200 meters of carpet so the materials if it's if it's um, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to type in there paint and then I'll just put that in liters or liter and so then we can track how much paint we need by litres. So then we have costs. So costs are something which um, resources are one that are purely based on costs without any time or quantity variables. So costs can be things such as travel costs to attend a meeting or costs associated with building permits or end of project celebration costs. And when we're working with costs, again, you would just put in what the cost was, give it a resource name, a type and then you can give it initials and you can even apply them to a group so that's just a little bit about understanding resources so that remember that your main your main resources are your work resources your material resources and your cost resources and if you want to look at that further you can then go on to page 76 of your workbook and look through the units and the naming resources